Hi and hello, welcome to online biology class because of ideal others educational institution and you. I am Sadish Kumar going to take down the class regarding the topic of animal kingdom. So last three classes we are seen about various characters and how the classifying the organism, how the organisms are grouped. These are the things are seen in the previous classes. And today's classes we are going to be seen about the last topic of the animal kingdom and last pylum of the animal kingdom that is Cardata. So the Cardata it is a, it's a kind of organism which is available from the small organism to huge multicellular organism which are comes under the category of the pylum Cardata. So Cardata is the best example we are seen about the organism which consists of a nematocard or backbone. They are having a well defined skeletal system is called an car data. So now let us enter into the topic of car data. Then animal kingdom. So we will see that uh, pylum animalia. So pylum car data which is included with the various types of organism. So which is starts from the fishes, amphibians and frogs, uh, then birds and uh, human being. We, there are comes under the category of pylum car data. The cardates are characterized by the presence of nematocard. So we know very well the nematocard which is available on the uh, dorsal nerve cord or pad the gills of pouches. So we will see that the dorsal side and ventral side. We are the dorsal side we are having a spinal cord. So they are in the form of nematocard and a pair of gills pouches. So which is done in the uh, both side which is available. Then nematocard is a long a rod like support. Uh, along the back of uh, animal then separating the gut and nervous system so we will see that the spinal cord the spinal cord which is divided into the two back side upper side and lower side then they are separating the gut and nervous tissue and the, all the cordates are triploplastic and the coelomatic animal which means triploplastic we know very well presence of ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm and coelomatic organism which means a presence of body cavity so we see that chicken stall and mutton stall and all other organism the digestive system is totally differ uh, they, are, they are not attached with the body but they are once we are cut down the body then they are comes out immediately because of the reason the body fluid is is available in the form of a semi-solid liquid white color fluid which is available in the body cavity so the organism which consists of coelomatic organism coelomate means presence of true body cavity we are already known about three types of coelomate a coelomate pseudo coelomate and zero coelomatic organism then the pylum cardata is divided into two groups prochordata and vertebrata so prochordata is one category and vertebrata the fully adapted organisms are available from the group and first one we have seen about prochordata. The prochordates are considered as a forefarner of vertebrates. It is a forefarner that means a munodical. Then uh, they are in the basic organism, the formation of uh, the cardates. Then based on the nature, the nematocard and prochordata is classified the subphylum 3. Then uh, based on this nematocard, the backbone and prochordata is classified into three subphylum. Number one is called eurochordata. Number two is called cephalocardata. So eurochordata and cephalocardata. So the subphylum eurochordata, they are having some kind of general characters. The what are the general characters are available? Then nematocard is absent in the adult stage but present towards the tail during the larval stage which is the basic characters of the subphylum eurochordata. And the nematocard is present only in the tail region of the free living larvae. So free living larvae it is in the form of a basic stage after the fertilization the larva is formed. The adult are sessile form and mostly the degenerate as adults are sessile that means there is no nematocard and it is degenerated. The body is covered with the, the tonic of tests that is example is acidians. So acidian is the best example we see what is acidian. So then uh, this is the diagrammatic representation, the presence of uh, the next subphylum cephalocardata. So the cephalocardata, this is the diagrammatic representation. They are having a tentacles by means of these tentacles, they are catching all types of foods. 
Then the cephalocardates are the small fish like a marine chordate with the unpaired the dorsal fins. So the unpaired dorsal fins, the two pair of wings are available. Then the nematocards are extended throughout the entire length of the body. Example is a amphibiox. So the entire body of the body is consists of a nematocard. The nematocard is nothing but it is in the form of a spinal cord. And the next subphylum we will see about vertebrata. So vertebrate we know all these things starts with a small frog up to the dinosaur or lion or tiger or elephant or human being. They are comes under the category of the vertebrata. And vertebrata this is the group is characterized by the presence of vertebral column or backbone. We are, we are having a vertebral column and by the same time we are having a backbone. Without the backbone we cannot be stand, we cannot be sit, we cannot be walk. So all other things which is controlled by the backbone. Then nematocard is a embryonic stage. It gets replaced by the vertebral column. So uh, the embryo, the fusion of male and female gamete, if we are comes under with the following the chapter, we will uh, see how the nematocard and how the embryonic stages is takes place in the body. Everything you will see in the following classes. So shortly I told you the embryonic stage which starts from after the fertilization of the sperm cell and the egg cell, they are converted into diploid in nature. The diploid in nature is called the zygote. After the zygote, the cell undergo for cell division. They are converted into blastocyst and morula. That stage is called the embryonic stage. From that embryonic stage itself, they are start with the backbone. So the fetus is developed mother's uterus. At the time itself, the backbone is slowly start developing. So that is a thing which forms the chief skeletal axis of the body. So why we are called upon the chief skeletal? The first formed bone that is called the spinal cord. So we are called upon it is called the chief skeletal axis of the body. Vertebrata are grouped into six classes. They are having a six different types of classes. Mammalia, pieces, amphibians, reptiles. Like that they are having a six different types of classes. And the uh, next class we are seen about the cyclostomata. Cyclostomata is uh, mostly in the aquatic animal found in the marine and the fresh water. They are available in the marine as well as in the fresh water. Cyclostomates are uh, jawless vertebrate. The mouth is not bounded by the jaws. So there is no upper jaw and lower jaw is not present. Body is elongated and ill like. So they are in the form of sharp point. They have the uh, circular mouth only in the circular mouth like straw. Your yeah, skin is smelly and scaleless. It's a smooth and moist skin. So they are a ectoparasite in the fishes. Example in the hackfish. They are in the ectoparasite which means which is available outside of the body. They are depending upon the other organism for migration and food and production. Then they are the ectoparasite fishes. Example hackfish. This is the diagrammatic representation of the hackfish. And the next one, we will see the next class that is called the fishes. So we know the fish, fishes is otherwise called in fishes. So the fishes are in the pyclothermic cold-blooded organism, which means depending upon the environmental temperature, the pond temperature is more, the fish temperature also more. The pond temperature is cold, the fish body temperature is also cold. So they are called an pyclothermic organism. Pyclothermic means cold-blooded organism. Aquatic vertebrate with jaws. They are having a jaws. We will see the teeth which is available in this uh, a mouth of fishes. The streamlined body is uh, dividable into, uh, divisible into head, trunk and tail. The locomotion is a pair of the median fins. They are having a fins in Tamil. We are called upon tudup. The body is covered with scales. We are seeing that the katla katla, rogu, kendai. So all these uh, fishes, they are having some kind of the scales. And the respiration takes place by the gills, the pair of gills which is available in the either side. Then the heart is a two chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. There are the two main types of fishes. One is called then cartilaginous fishes and is called skeletal made cartilages. Example, socks and scats. So we see that uh, diagrammatic representation, socks and scats. And the bony fishes uh, with the skeleton is made with the bones. Example is uh, crabs and millets. So we know that the crabs and millets, they are having a 
bone like structure then more to no question the smallest vertebrate the epipenes gobi dwarf pygmy is a, is a tropical species of the fish found in the brackish water of mangrove areas in the southeast asia meaning only in the 10 millimeter in the length so very small fishes are available they are available only in the 10 millimeter length for example 1 centimeter which is available in the southeastian region and they are specially found in the mangrove forest so this is the diagrammatic representation of that small fish and the next class we can move on to the amphibia so we know very well the beautiful frogs they are comes under the category of the amphibians then the amphibia amphi means both bias means life they are having a two life they are living in the land as well as in the water so they are called an amphibians so the first four legged tetrapods so we are having a four leg we know very well the vertebrate with the dual adaptation both the land and water the body is divided into head and trunk so the skin is moist and have the mucus gland so they are always in the form of jelly like substance and very smooth because of the reason and they are having a moist surface and respiration by the gills lungs and skin they are in the form of water they are respired by means of skin and lungs and they are sorry skin and gills by the same time they are in the land they are respired by means of lungs so they are having a bucophyrex which is available the region of the lower surface of the neck the heart is a three chambered two auricle one ventricle the egg laid in this water so they are ex external fertilization so they are laying the eggs in the water surface the tadpole larvae uh, transforms into the adult example is a frog and tots so this is the structure of frog we know very well about the uh, frog then more to know question the Chinese Jane Salmander so Andreas Divardians is the largest amphibian in the world the length about 5 feet and even uh, and 11 inches it is a uh, weight about 65 kg found in the central and south China so this is the largest amphibian Salmander so which is available in the Chinese continent then next class we are seen about a reptilia so they are comes under the category of the turtles crocodiles snakes lizards and all these things are comes under the category of reptilia so these vertebrates are fully adapted in the life of land is a first land organism their body is covered with horny epidermal scale so they are having a rough skin then the respiration in the through the lungs they are respired by means of lungs the heart is a three chambered exception in the crocodile only the crocodile they are having a four chambered heart important question and one more question which have the four chambered or other reptile exception of the crocodile they are having a three chambered so most of the reptiles lays their eggs uh, through the uh, trough outer of the cell then calotus lizard snake tortoise and uh, turtle so these are the this calotus that means one on so all these things which is given from this diagram and next the beautiful class we are seen about apes apes means birds we are seen all types of birds they are comes under the category of class apes and the birds are in the form of homeothermic organism so Apes and mammals, they are comes under the category of homeothermic. They are in the form of warm-blooded animal. They are stable. The body temperature is not very. Either the environmental temperature is too hot or the environmental temperature is too chilled. The body temperature cannot be varied. So that is called warm-blooded organism. Then the animals with several adaptation to fly. So the spindle or boat shaped body is divisible into head, neck, trunk and tail. The body is covered with feathers. We know very well the boats are covered with feathers. Then four limbs are four limbs are modified into wings for flight. And hind limbs are adapted to walking and perching and swimming. The respiration. So the respiration is through this. The respiration is through these lungs which have the air, air sacs. Then the bones are filled with air. So this is called a pneumotic bone. It's a weightless bone which reduce the body weight. They lay the large, large yolk laden eggs. They are consist of yellow yolk. They are covered by the hard calcareous cell. The egg is covered with the shell. Example parrot, crow, eagle, pigeon and ostrich. So then we will see all these birds. Then another important question, the state bird of the state bird of Tamil Nadu, a common emerald dove. It is a, a Celopadius indica, which is in the form of state bird of Tamil Nadu. 
and the last class uh, that is the mammalia so all types of mammals uh, the, what is the special character of mammals they are feeding the young one by means of milk so it is called an mammalia then the mammals are warm blooded mammals are warm blooded animals the mammals are warm blooded animals the skin is covered with hairs the presence of external epidermal hair is available our body and it is also bears with the sweat and the sebaceous gland the sebaceous gland is otherwise called an oil gland the body is dividable into head neck trunk and tail region so it is a warm blooded organism the body is covered with the skin and there are presence of two type of gland sweat gland and oil gland the body is divided into head neck trunk and tail then the females have the mammary gland which is secrete the milk feeding their young ones the milk is secreted only after the birth before the birth the milk is not secreted the external air is a pinna is present pinna is nothing but it is placed with any any direction the pinna is present only in this rabbit then heart is a four chambered they are breathed through the lungs the presence of two auricular and two ventricle and they are breathed with the help of lungs a pair of lungs are available in the thoracic cavity and the except the laying animals the platypus and the spiny and steria then all other mammals they have give the birth and they give the ones that is called an viviparous then placenta is a unique characteristic features of mammals the rat rabbit and a man so the placenta the umbilical cord and the placenta thopal kodi and nanju kodi it is a main characteristic features of the mammals then motto no the gigantic blue whale which is the 35 meters long and 120 ton weight the biggest vertebrate animal and the next one so thank you very much up to this we are successfully completing the biology lesson number 1 for animal kingdom thank you very much if you like this video please comment and subscribe the channel